All right, no opening statement by me. Hey, Dave, after seeing uh, Sky Moore for a couple games as a punt returner, what, what are your thoughts there? Do you feel like he's ready for the regular season? Uh, I think he's, he's building confidence every game. Um, I, I really like that second one where he went after it. You know, uh, it was a short kick. We had a right return call, but there was no, not a lot of blocking over there, and he still went up there and caught it and, and saved us some yardage and then held on to the ball when he got hit. So, I mean, that was, that was good to see. He's, he's getting a lot more confidence with, with his catching and his ball reads. Um, you know, so we just we got to keep working him in there. I tried to get him as many as I could in that last game. On that play there, I mean, when you're running like that, would you rather have him try to call a fair catch, or is that kind of harder to do when you're Well, he was trying to, you know, if you fair catch it, you obviously you can't return it. So he was trying to steal it. Oh, you know, man. he was trying to get something out of him. I like, I like his courage right now. I mean, that's a good thing to see. You want to have a, you know, a returner that's willing to take chances. It's, it's a tough, it's a tough job. I mean, I, I always, I tell our guys, I said, you got quarterback, and then you got punt returner. You know, I mean, and that's what we. And, you know, as far as the toughest job in the NFL, I think it's hard, you know, and, and you have to have courage and you have to have toughness and you have to, uh, you know, obviously the ball reads and, and everything that goes along with it. And uh, you have to trust your teammates that, that they're going to block for you because you don't get to see it a lot of times. But the decision making is. Yeah, the decision making is huge. Decision that's, a, that's a big thing. I mean, you know, in a game, in a, you know, in a, you know a, it, was a, it was a game, but in a regular season game, you know, a fair catch would have been, I would have been fine with that. He made a fair catch on the first one. That was fine. But I like the fact that he tried to steal it. You know, that was a good, it was a good thing, you know, to see. Day, day two, not day two, Harrison Glucker. <laughs> with the 68-yard. I the guy. <laughs> <laughs> the haircut. That's shot. <laughs> okay. The 68-yard field goal pregame followed up immediately by that 74-yarder. Your reaction when he, when he was able to make that 74 We had the, you know, it was a perfect situation out there. We had the wind blowing. And uh, in pregame, he likes to hit long ones because... It makes him feel like when when we do kick a fifty yarder, he feels real close, you know, because he just banged a you know twenty one yard further than than he just kicked the fifty three. But then he missed the fifty three, so I was like, you know, uh, you know, that wasn't like him to miss that kick. That was it was kind of a uh, it was you know I'll let him tell you about it, but it was uh, not not normal for him. But he was you know he, he was he was spot on in pregame for sure. You know he was the situation was good and, and he was banging those kicks. Uh, you know, it was impressive. So what are the right conditions? Is that oh, his there's range? no question. Is that his range now? I mean, I mean his no. Well, his range is. You know, we're we're going to keep him. You know, 58. You know, 40 yard line would probably be his range. You know, get the ball to 40, and then you know, got a really good legitimate shot to get it. Uh, that kind of kick there, you do at the end of the half. Right. You got the wind behind you. No time left on the clock. You know, you're just going to take a shot. So I mean, that's why we always try to. You know, at the beginning of the game, we try to kick into the wind. You know, if we win the toss, we, we try to kick into the wind so we have the wind at our back in the second quarter so we can try those long field goals. What do you feel his range is when you're not worried about the field position? Uh, it's just like I said. I mean, I mean he, I'm worried about field position all the time. You know I mean? But we, Butker has, a, you know, there's a high percentage chance that he's going to make the field goal. So, you know, we, we, we risk it. Critical as uh, Chris Lamont's just been to, to what you guys have been doing. Yeah, he's he's right solid. I mean, you can see him. Um, he's always the first in on kickoff. He's the first in on. He's our best gunner. You know, um, he's a, he's a good player. Um, he's trying to establish himself on defense, and he did a good job in that game. They they played him a lot more, and he showed up a little bit. So that was good to see. It, it goes hand in hand. It's not just you know we, we don't have just special teams guys. You know, and they have to be able to play offense and defense. So. It's good to see a player that I like, Lamons, doing well on defense. Speaking of that, you guys turned over just a significant amount of your guys last year. What are you learning about some guys that? that yeah, I'm, I'm learning a lot right now. I mean, I, you know, we have to replace. I mean, it's up to like eight guys. I think we've had, you know, that are, that are gone. So we have a, a lot of new guys that are, and we're, and that's what we're doing in, um, you know, in these preseason games is finding guys and seeing who your best gunners are, seeing who's competing on defense and. I mean, there's a lot of competition out there at corner. There's a lot of competition at linebacker, you know, and, um, you know, those are the spots that, you know, we're still, I mean, there's, there's still jobs up for, jo for, for grabs even coming into this game. Do you anticipate losing some guys in the final cut down? There, there's, there's a chance that, you, we, you know, final cut down, we might lose guys in the 53, okay. um, but there is a 16-man practice squad uh, roster that is huge, and it, 
you know, with the, you know, the, the new rule that they put in with COVID, and then they kept it going. I'm glad they kept it going because it gives you a chance to, you have guy trained, you know, you cut him, he doesn't get picked up from somebody. You get him on the practice squad. He's a guy that you can go to. You get an injury, boom. You got a got a guy trained up and knows your system, um, and, you, and you plug him in. So I think we're going to have some good players, you know, in that category. Back to Butker for a second. What's the longest field goal you've ever seen made, whether it's pregame or? It was probably Tucker's, you know, last year that I've seen made. Well, how about anecdotally that you've ever heard? A oh, game? just seeing, yeah. yeah. Oh. That 74 was pretty darn good. I mean, that was, I, I go back and I, I think uh, I had, we had Tucker in a Pro Bowl and he was, he was hitting them over our, we had nine on seven going on and he was behind us, you know, and I was with him and he was banging, you know, off the tee. He was, he was hitting some long ones. I can't remember how long they were, but they were 70 plus. So both of those guys are like, you know, it, it, it's a battle, you know, with that. I, I think uh, Bucker, he might have a chance someday to break the record. You know, I mean, if the right situation comes up, he has a chance. I'm sure he would like to have it. Sorry, Coach. Um, we talked about that you can't replicate teams in practice. So Thursday is really your last chance. And with just the three preseason games, does that change your approach? I mean, do you get to this game now and you're like, hey, there's guys that I don't need to see because I know what they can do? Whereas sometimes. I need to yeah, sometimes. Yeah, there's no question. Uh, yeah, there's no question about that. You know, so when you watch and see who's playing, you guys can kind of figure it out, you know, who we're trying to see, you know. And, uh, that's usually how it works out. Given all the I mean, that goes offense, defense, too. I mean, same thing. Uh, given all the turnover, just how critical has Bush been uh, to add him in the offseason? Yeah, he's a critical guy. I mean, I look at him as like, you know, you know how we used Imani Watts last year? You know, uh, he's he's that guy. So, and, and he does a lot. He's a PP, and he's our hybrid on, a, on, the, on the kickoff return team. So he's an important guy, you know. Are you telling, are you telling uh, Butker to take a little bit off the kickoffs in the preseason so you can – yeah, well, of course. I mean, yeah, we're, I mean, Bucker could kick a ball in a stand every time. I mean, that's, I mean, if he kicks it short, it's because we want him to kick it short. You know, it's, you know, Bucker, his leg is, he's got the strongest kickoff leg in the league. I think everybody will tell you that. I mean, he, he kicked one, he kicked one in the first preseason game. The very first one was a four, se four seven hang time to the one yard line. I mean, that's just, it's unheard of, you know, the amount of height that he gets on it, you know, just from. Last one, Steve. Dave, you talk about punt return. What about kickoff return with uh, Pacheco? What do you see from him? I saw he brought out one from. Yeah, he, we, we didn't. They didn't give us any. I mean, I was I was kind of frustrated because they didn't kick it. They they try to kick away from us in the preseason. It's, it's, it doesn't make any sense. But Pacheco got it at nine deep. You know, he tried to come out with it. Then the other one, he he started coming out at four. He was fourteen deep. He started coming out. So, but um, you know, you can't evaluate your kickoff return team unless you get returns. So I, I'm telling him to come on out deep. Um, maybe Green Bay will give us some, so we can evaluate that part of it. But you know, I, I, I think he's I think he's a talented guy, and he's he's excited about it. You know, you can tell he wants to go. You know. Thanks, everyone. All right. Thanks. Thanks. See you later.